My God, you are one powerful source of energy, capable of creating whatever you desire, whatever you set your mind upon, you will create. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the universal influence that you, as a divine source of energy, have. Everything is energy. Therefore, everything is connected and participating in an exchange of energy. Yes, even the, uh, the screen that you're watching me on right now is in some way a uh, energy source and a form of energy just like your body is a form of energy. The only difference is it is vibrating at a very different frequency. So we need to begin to understand that everything is connected. There's not one thing in any of the multiverse that is not connected. When one little thing happens here, it impacts something on the other side of the universe. This is how connected we are. We call this interconnectedness, interconnectedness, and so an interdependence. And this is the beautiful, interdependence is something beautiful that you should absolutely meditate on. I have videos on interdependence right here. But because we know that everything is energy, we know that everything is also impacting everything else. Your energy field or aura is touching and impacting everything, everywhere, all the time. When we are in inner agreement, when our body is synchronized, when our conscious, our subconscious, and then our cellular consciousness is synchronized, then the aura is huge. And what ends up taking place is we end up really impacting things. I mean, you've walked into a room before. I know you have. You've walked into a room. You've walked into a party. You've walked into your work. And there was just this low frequency. You've come home from work. And maybe your, your husband or your wife or your kids were just in a just depressive uh, state, sad, depressed, angry, negative, fighting's going on. All of this shit's happening. And, it, and then you get pulled. You get sucked right into this vortex, if you will, of negativity. That's that's because your conscious and subconscious uh, and cellular consciousness were not in agreement or synchronized. If you want to begin to see, so so listen, going back and watching and rewatching some of the videos that we already talked about these things is key because you want to be in full on synchronization, in full on agreement in order to manifest the universal law of influence. Because when you begin to manifest this uni universal influence, what happens is when you walk, when you come home from work and your whole family's a mess, your vibration raises the frequency. They get sucked into the vortex that is your love, that is your energy. Your aura then pulls people up Instead of you being sucked into the vortex of negativity, they get sucked into the vortex of positivity, if that makes sense to you. And see, you need to recognize, this is one of the key things that you need to recognize. Every thought and every deed is a seed in the garden of manifestation. When you realize that every thought that goes through your mind, whether negative or positive, is a seed, and if you're sowing a bunch of whole bunch of seeds in your field, and you're just taking random seeds and throwing them in your field, my God, you don't know what you're going to create. You might create some a bunch of weeds, and you might create a bunch of havoc, and you might also be trying to create a bunch of good things. I'm gonna, I want to create wealth while simultaneously do it through poverty mentality. This does not work, but this is what most people are trying to do. They feel positive one minute and negative the next minute, and they're very impacted by the energy that's going on around them because they haven't recognized the, the universal laws that take place within their own being, within their own body. Every single thought that goes through your mind is a seed. It's planted in the garden of manifestation. Every single one and every single action, and hopefully you're practicing conscientious action, doing things on purpose, but every action is a seed planted in the garden of manifestation, what you want to manifest. And so if you want to manifest something and you have that thing specifically written down, then you're paying attention to those thoughts. And you're paying attention, just like I have gardens. I love gardens. And so I actually have a raised bed garden out here. It's not a huge one, but a little raised bed garden. I'm not letting my kids plant grass seeds in my garden is full of cucumbers and onions and squash. I don't want them planting grass in that garden <laughs> because that grass will actually suck the life and take a lot of the nutrients of the soil away from the plants that I want to grow. I have nothing against grass. I'm just saying I don't want it to hinder the growth of my other plants. 
This is what's going on in your life. To really begin to be a universal influence, you have to let go of those, pull out those seeds, pull out those negativity, pull out the weeds, if you will, and really begin to um, be in sync. A kingdom divided against itself will not stand, but where two agree on earth concerning anything that they touch, there is nothing that is impossible for them. When your body is in agreement, conscious, subconscious, where two or three are gathered in my name, conscious, subconscious, and cellular, then you are a force. Nothing is impossible for you. But a kingdom divided against itself will not stand. If you're consciously wanting to create wealth or to draw and attract someone to your life that is loving and caring, but subconsciously you think you're a piece of shit, you won't attract that person to your life. You just won't. If you get lucky and you land them, it was, a, it was luck. It was because they somehow wanted to be a gift in your life. So understand that you must consciously, subconsciously, and cellularly. Cellularly means physical manifestation, physical or So it's impacting your physical body. Now this is what enables you to really become, to begin to see yourself as a universal influence on your own personal world and the world at large. The only step that I have for you today is this. Go to the playlist that includes all of these videos on the laws of attraction, the laws of manifestation, and re-watch them. Put them on your watch later list and re-watch them. Watch them and re-watch them. Why? Because you need to have these laws, these concepts, these ideas, even in their base form, their basic form, seared in your mind. And it'll keep you from moving back into old patterns. I love you. Drop whatever comments, questions you have below. I'd love to hear from every single one of you. And do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Share this video. If you liked it, click like right now and let me know. I love you guys. Hope you have a fucking beautiful day. Thank <laughs> you.